Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Nadia and this is Once Upon a Girl. If you're new here, please, I would love very much if you subscribe to my channel and click the like button and stick around. And uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much to come back to my videos and I hope you enjoy this one. So today is a really special day. It's my birthday. Yay! So I decided to bring you guys something a little bit more special that I love doing and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So as you probably seen by the title, I'm going to be doing a dupe haul. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I'm a student, but I love designer uh, items and I love everything that's fashion, but as a student, the budget can get a little tricky. So a really good way to get the look, but for less money is dupes and I'm always on the lookout for dupes so I decided to do a little haul of my favorite pieces that I was gathering for the last month yeah for all of the light of the last month and I decided to gather everything together and show you guys my favorite dupes yeah so no further ado let's start it so the first dupe uh, most yeah only one of the items it's not a bag so sorry about that, but I really love bags and shoes and um, all of the dupes on this video are bags, so except one. So let's start with one. This is my favorite. Um, I'll leave all of the links uh, down below and every information that you need, but uh, three of these items were bought on eBay. Uh, I don't have any problems with eBay. I shop there quite often actually and until today i didn't have any problem uh when i start doing uh, shopping for this haul uh, i order actually uh, four bags on ebay and uh, then the ebay just uh, emailed me saying that one of the bags wasn't a real listing so they just returned my money so i didn't have any type of problem one day after the money was back on my account so that's it but no further ado this is the first when I saw this bag on the website, I was like, yes, I need it. It's not just the fact that it's, uh, it's a dupe of a uh, Gucci bag. Yeah, the Gucci bag. Uh, but it's beautiful. Anyway, even if it wasn't a dupe, I would buy it and wear it anyway. But for those of you that do not know, this is um, a dupe for the Dior uh, Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth, I think, bag. Uh, the bag, uh, the original one, only has the, um, the clasp like this. And then Dior has another bag that has the, the bamboo handle it. Like this. I love the bag. It's quite nice. It has uh, pearls and embellishment on it. This was uh, uh, around £20, if I'm not mistaken. Around £20. And it was super fast arriving. I bought it in literally... Two days after it arrived, it came to really well packed, all with tissue, two dust bags, and inside of this bag, I don't know if you can see it. So it's actually from a boutique in London. And uh, yeah, it looks like this. It's a, a beige color and black. The, the hardware is in a yellowish old gold. And uh, the handle, it's bamboo, like this. And then you have the detail again on the hardware and it opens from the bottom. You just press, it has a little button there and you press it and it opens like this. Yeah. And it's quite big inside. Sorry, it has stuff inside. I already used this one. I, I couldn't help myself. And uh, it came with a strap. The only thing I was disappointed actually was the strap because it was a little weird. I'm tall. But uh, it was a little weird. I show, I'll show you guys. Um, sorry about that. So, uh, it came with this tag that uh, I don't use it. It's fine, I, I just don't like using it. And the strap, it's this. So, it buckles on their own. That's what I couldn't understand. So, it basically buckles it. Sorry, like this. So it doesn't make much sense to me because 
if you buckle it like this it's gonna end only on one side of the bag and I, I don't know so I don't use this strap uh, I was using a strap from one of my older bags a black one and then what I did I just uh, went back on eBay and I bought uh, a chain strap this is quite a chunky I don't know if you can see it it's quite a chunky good strap and uh, I'm just gonna start using it with this strap instead it's not the same gold but I'm not too bothered about it and it's a, a good strap so I'll just use it because that one the bag literally stays here so it's not very helpful and this one the bag comes almost like here on my hip size but yeah so this is the first bag I'll try to insert somewhere on the screen if I can find uh, a picture of the um, the dupe for this uh, the, the original for this dupe and once again it's the Dior Queen Elizabeth if I'm not mistaken dupe pack on the back he has this little detail but I'm really in love with the front of this bag I'm gonna go on holidays on Monday and this is gonna be my go-to bag I like it using it just like this on my arm or again with the chain that I bought so this is the first pack I'm quite pleased with it and uh, then I have more packs I'm just gonna go for the one that's not from eBay so you guys see it so this one is not exactly a dupe it's more of a, a replica um, I bought this one so it's uh, a replica of the Chanel boy bag boyfriend bag boy bag thing and uh, it's on this uh, I bought it because I really love the color I love metallics and when I saw this it, it literally I got drawn to it so it's just like exactly the same it's quilted and it's this metallic it has oh sorry it has this strap that you can use it crossbody or like this like this and uh, i say it's a replica because uh, on the clasp it has the chanel logo and then on the side he has a uh, little Chanel so I don't see if it's, uh, maybe I'm too close at the camera but yeah and uh, this one I bought it in Camden so if you guys are from London you know the Camden market I was passing by and uh, I was actually going to catch the subway and uh, I passed by, I saw it and I needed to have it this one was a little bit more expensive but my boyfriend decided to get it for me and uh, they were asking around 60 pounds that that was like too much and uh, my boyfriend was able to negotiate until 30 pounds but uh, there's actually pretty good replicas on eBay uh, of the same bag but without the um, the Chanel logo and the Chanel on the side and uh, I'll leave it linked down below because I think that one you can get for around 20 pounds too so yeah uh, this one opens like this you just press it here and you open up and on the inside is just a pretty basic big pocket yeah and that's it this is the second bag this is the only one I didn't get from eBay and yeah once again just like this oh a problem with these bags I wouldn't um, I wouldn't advise you to get one of those because the only problem I found is the strap so one day I was using it and it simply got loose so as you can see it's loose it uh, clasps like this on these little holes but once it got loose I've tried everything literally everything to strap it back in place and nothing seems to work I even tried with the tweezer to open the holes more but it just it doesn't clasp anymore so I'm not being able to use this bag anymore because the the chain is not working so I'm just gonna buy one chain like this on eBay but uh, on the metal gun color and I'm just gonna start using it like that because like this is just pretty useless so I use it without the strap and I kind of don't like the look without the strap but 
yeah aside from that it's a really good leather it doesn't scratch uh, fake leather not real leather fake leather it doesn't scratch easily and i love the color and yeah i'll leave something similar linked down below from ebay yeah so this is the second bag um now i have one that i was really excited i bought this bag uh, I saw it on the listing listing on eBay and I was like, oh, it would be perfect if it was like this, but uh, I'm quite doubtful, doubtful that it's going to actually arrive a good bag or something like on the picture, you know, because let's be real, it's eBay, they're dupes and um, unfortunately some of the times we order, it never happened to me. But I've seen other videos on YouTube uh, and they order stuff that when they arrive are completely miss. So I was really pleased when I arrived and I saw the bag. So I've been obsessed with the original of this bag forever, but I simply don't have. And even if I had the money, I don't know if I would pay the money for it. So it comes in this little dust bag and it's the dupe for the Louis Vuitton trunk bag. I, look look at this it's so cute i'm in love on the listening uh it was appearing with uh, the detail it's like a, a knockoff of the um, the louis vuitton logo print and um it was appearing like this but it was saying coffee on the color it wasn't actually saying pattern or something like this so i was actually expecting a, a brown bag uh i was quite pleased with the result so yeah guys it looks like this you even have the the little three crosses on the the bag the original one with the uh, logo print the crosses are actually red but for a fraction of the price more than a fraction of the price this bag didn't even reach 20 pounds guys um i think it was around 13 pounds and then you had to pay to pay for the shipping but uh, the total amount, I don't think it even reached the 20 pounds. So that's a pretty good uh, bargain, if you ask me. It's a really good bag, so it's hard. The, the leather feels really nice. It feels really good quality, although it's a tube. So it came protected like this. I haven't used this one yet. And you just press it like this. And you pull the buckle down. And you take it out like this. And then you just open it like this. So like a, a big box and it comes with uh, a little strap inside like this a black one i hope it's long enough i'll open in a minute and then it's just a, a really big trunk bag and it has a little um envelope inside to put the card or something like that so let's check the strap if i can open if you are returned to my channel you know i have trouble in opening everything so let's just go with the scissor okay so let's see how this one is oh, okay so it's adjustable that's good okay the strap doesn't feel the best quality but i guess it does the job and the fact that it's adjustable it's a win for me because i'm quite tall and uh, most of the straps just get too high on me and I don't like seeing. So the fact that it's adjustable, it's already a win for me. So yeah, it seems pretty big. Let's just close the back. I think I'm going to use this one tonight for my birthday party. So let's clasp it. It's the same uh, soft yellow gold as the hardware on the, the back. Yeah, yeah. The the leather on the the fake leather on the strap is completely different from the fake leather on the back. The back one is much nicer, even at the touch. But I guess I don't mind. So yeah, guys, it's adjustable, so a really good length for me. And yeah, I was really impressed with this bag. I love all of the details. Uh, in my opinion, is quite similar to the original one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put pictures on the screen. But uh, if I'm not able to put the pictures of the original bags for these tubes, I'll leave uh, the original ones linked on the description box too, so you can compare both of them. Uh, and yeah, guys, if uh, you like the original one, but you don't have the money to buy it, I, 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 will, 
I really think this is a, a pretty good option. You can use it like, just like a clutch or you can use it with a strap and I really love this. Once again, this is definitely coming with me on my holidays. I think it's a pretty good good dupe and uh, I was searching for a dupe for uh, the Louis Vuitton one uh, for this bag quite for a long time now and this was actually the first I found. For example, for the, the Gucci bag Gucci bag. For the Gucci bag, I've uh, found a lot of dupes for a lot of Gucci bags. I think on even the most designer brand that you can find the most dupes is definitely Gucci. But for Louis Vuitton, aside from the LV1, the, the Tote, you can't find anything else. So I was quite pleased with when this one appeared. Oh yeah, okay. once again, the Louis Vuitton. Uh, Petite Matisse, I think that's the, the real name, the Petite Matisse Louis Vuitton, yeah, so quite pleased with this one. And uh, the last bag I have to show is it's um, a quite <laughs> popular dupe on the internet right now, but I saw this version and, well, I had to have it. So it's a dupe for the Chloe bag, the bracelet Chloe bag, and it came on a dust bag. I already repeat. I'm clumsy that way. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, so let me take it out and show you why this one is different from all of the others. I uh, chose the black one because uh, they had in other colors, but I think the black one is the, probably the one that I'm gonna use the most. So this one is different because I don't know if the camera can catch it, but it's actually glitter all over the front. This is black glitter. And then the detail I love the most is the fact that they have little pearls, real little stud pearls all around the bag. Uh, the bracelet, so the bracelet I think is a little different from the original one because the original one is just um, the ring and this one is to like divide it on the middle. But let me try to remove this plastic. I guess they pack it like this so it doesn't scratch, it doesn't break. Oh. So let's try to open this. I'm already making a huge mess, but that's fine. Oh yeah, here we go. So. Okay, yeah, so as you guys can see, it's uh, a lot different from the original one, the, the the bracelet bit so it's open on the side uh, I don't have a problem with that it, it looks pretty much the same to me and yeah so on the front it's uh, the glitter on the back uh, this is a, a really soft fake leather and once again it's that uh, pale yellow gold and has studs all around the back on the back has a little pocket that's good for you to keep your cards your oyster if you're going to london and um, on the inside it came actually with uh, a little bubbly thing inside and let's remove this okay and uh, again inside is just a, a big pocket and then it has a little bit a little envelope and uh, it also came with a strap. Uh, why did I put the strap? Okay, so it actually came with this strap. It's a pretty basic leather, fake leather, black strap. It was pretty good. I just got a little disappointed because the sides. Let me put the bag on before I drop it. Uh, the sides are. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. The sides are starting to come out. The, the little plastic bit but uh, it's fine for me because probably I'm just gonna use it with uh, the gold chain the bag I really like the the glittery effect that's why I, I got it because I was like oh every dupe uh, video on YouTube has a Chloe bag and, and I actually didn't want to just include more bags that are pretty common but uh, I thought that the, the glittery bit with the pearls was quite a lovely touch and since I love glitter and everything that sparkle and pearls I decided to 
get this one. I'm quite pleased with the bag actually. Uh, even with the bracelet being different, uh, I don't mind it. It's just I think it does the same effect. Yeah guys, so this was the last bag and uh, the last item I got was actually a pair of sunglasses. Sorry if the light is changing but this week the weather is really bad here in the town I live and uh, it's constantly going grey so sorry if the lighting is changing too much but as I said the last item I got was a pair of sunglasses uh, they're quite bold for me I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear them but I wanted to show you guys because these glasses are quite popular uh, mostly now on the Coachella festival times so I decided to get it just to show you guys I think they were like two quid two quid something so I decided it was quite a, a good price for a really good dupe so they're uh, a dupe for the Chloe glasses Chloe sunglasses so they look like this they're quite big they're round the side has that little effect I chose the the pale gold with this uh, browny fading lens and they're like this I'll try it for you guys but honestly this I don't think this is quite my style but here's the glasses so they look like this uh, I honestly don't know if they're quite my style if I can pull them off but I think they're a beautiful sunglass and actually for the the price I think it's a pretty good dupe it's a, a pretty decent dupe so yeah it looks like this and uh, it came on a little plastic pouch and protected with this little plastic bit let me try to pack those back yeah uh, yeah and yeah guys this uh, was the haul so um, I really enjoy buying dupes and doing this type of stuff. So if you like uh, videos like this, uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to subscribe to my channel and uh, comment down below. I'm thinking if the video is quite popular, maybe doing something like this once a month. So let me know what you think about that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as I said previous, I'm going on holidays on the 16th, so on Monday. So this week I'm going to be doing a haul week. I have uh, three more hauls, three more hauls for you guys. So if you like fashion, the next hauls are actually uh, hauls, uh, clothing, sorry, clothing hauls. So yeah, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe, stick around and uh, I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.